Great Blue Heron Provincial Park. My name is Becky, this is Teddy, and Travis is behind the camera, and we are Roots and Wings Travel. So come along with us on this adventure. So Great Blue Heron is 40 kilometers north of Prince Albert. It's not far from the Prince Albert National Park. So it's kind of cool to be up here checking it out for the first time. It sits on Emma Lake, which is also right around Christopher Lake, which seem to be really popular spots. And yeah, we're looking forward to finding out more about what's all up at Great Blue Heron. Here's our site 127. It's just one row off the lake. And we've also got these two sites across. So M126 and M128. And they are actually lakefront, so you just have to walk through the trees and you can get right to the beach from there, which is amazing. And we've got these big, beautiful sites. We just had a bit of a rain come through so everything's looking a little bit soggy but they are really nice sites so this is walking through site M128 and you can see through here already straight through to the water and I'll show you the beach when we get there That's easy for you to say. and this is crazy because this beach was absolutely packed in the water was full of people and then the rain came and wiped everyone almost out. So just a couple of sites down from the spot we are in is this little playground behind me you can see the service center that has the washrooms and the showers and then just across the road is another little playground and this is also where you have the main beach access there we go back at the beach this is a little walking trail that goes all the way around the campground as well and there's lots of little trails that come off of it too so lots of nice biking or walking it's our last day at the park and we just drove down on our way out to back to the cabin area which is right next to the campground and there's a main beach here, but it's actually very tiny. There's a sand volleyball behind us and a playground, as well as a day use area and shelter. But the beach itself is really small, so probably some cabin goers go here. And I guess that's why the beach at Murray Point Campground was so busy. they've got a really big disc golf field or pitch here looks like it would be quite nice <laughs> pulled into this like resort village area called Sunnyside. It's close to where the golf course is when the crew went golfing the other morning. There's a mini golf behind us as well as a beach bar and we're gonna go check out the Sunnyside market and see if we can grab a bite because it is almost lunchtime. Wow so we're just back in the camper because we are loading up our freezer. They have a fresh baking in there like bread, cheese buns, hamburger hot dog buns as well as ice cream treats that they make in store. So they have cookie ice cream sandwiches and they have uh, lots of different kinds of ice cream cake and then they have ice cream cake on a stick so it's like one slice of ice cream cake dipped in chocolate 
on a stick. So we got a couple of those and we got these little sausage rolls which are still warm and amazing. So if you're coming to this area at Emma Lake, make sure you stop here first. We just drove through the Christopher Lake and maybe Lakeland area. Lots of different little restaurants and a couple of shops and more camping options there. It seems like there would be so much to see and do here if we had more time. I know there is a lake called Anglin Lake and it's not far from here and it has what look like and we've been told by a few people some really good hikes so I'm kind of wishing we would have rearranged our time a little bit differently and done the little drive. I think it would be about 30 minutes to drive up there and do a hike but just didn't have the motivation for that or the planning ahead I guess to get that done and we kind of missed out on that and it just seems like too much to add that extra half an hour on on a travel day but I think we are all very resolved that we will come back here for sure. It is a wonderful provincial park and a beautiful lake, so we can't wait to be back. And with that, I'm gonna end this video here. Just had my battery die and cut me off in the middle of my saying thanks for watching and we will see you again next time.